What's up, everybody? Welcome to week seven of the NBA. Here we have our replay against Jarboss, and right away, looking at his team, threatening, 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 threatening. We have a Reuniclus, we have a Mega Absol, we have a uh, Manaphy, we have a Landorus. I knew he'd bring most of this stuff. Uh, I wasn't sure about the Clef Key. It was between Clef Key or Lantern, but he brought the Clef Key instead. And uh, that's going to come into play a little bit. But anyway, um, so looking at this match, I know that I have a uh, very good matchup with Mega Scizor. I just have to get rid of the Manaphy. That's all I have to do. Just knock out the Manaphy and then Mega Scizor just destroys his team. Uh, I make my best one, my best turn one play that I have. And you guys will see it in a second. Um, by the way, I zoomed in a little bit on this video. Uh, one, because I wanted to see that you guys, uh, I wanted you guys to see uh, the battle a little bit better and really focus on it rather than the chat. And also because I know that Rob went ham in the chat. I ignored him. I ignored spectators so that I couldn't see what he was saying. But uh, I didn't want him throwing me off or anything. Anyway, uh, let's get right into it. Uh, I'm going to play this on normal. So we're going to lead off with Yuxi as he leads off with his Mega Absol. Perfectly fine. I know that I'm faster than this thing before the Mega Evolution. I get off a U-turn and I go straight into my Slurpuff to get it knocked off, which was the plan from the beginning. Slurpuff comes in, gets knocked off, loses the Babiri Berry. I'm going to go for the Play Rough and I get a pretty fortunate crit right here, as you guys will see on the Reuniclus, uh, showing me that uh, it doesn't have leftovers actually, which is uh, really nice to see. Uh, I'm thinking this thing is AV at this point. I go for another Play Rough as he goes for a Hidden Power Fire, expecting my Scizor to come in. Uh, I'm just going to throw out another uh, another Play Rough here as he goes into Klefki. I'm expecting this thing to Thunder Wave me, but he actually, uh, what does he do here? I think he Foul Plays. Uh, which I didn't really understand because I couldn't belly drum at this point uh, I go for a drain punch to get my health back to the point where I can belly drum because right now I have the unburdened boost So this is looking pretty good, but he just goes for a foul play I'm just going to throw out another drain punch right here uh, As he goes for a thunder wave I get back a little more health less than last time So I'm not um, in the uh, range where I can belly drum just yet, but I'm gonna go for a heal bell here This is why I brought heal help heal bell was for this cleft keys thunder wave uh, so I heal bell off the para and we are back to our full speed. His Reuniclus comes in, I go for yet another play rough, and I get yet another crit right here, knocking this thing down to 13%. I notice that it is, um, I think it's not Regenerator, actually, uh, now that I'm looking at it. But anyway, I'm gonna go into my Uxie. I'm just gonna U-turn. I predict him to predict rocks, so uh, I just go for the U-turn to either knock out the Reuniclus or knock out the Absol that's coming in. As it does, we're able to get rid of that massive threat. And now I go into Mammoth Swine, and here's where the game starts uh, slipping out of my favor. So, uh, Manaphy comes in, I'm expecting him to just scald me, and not go for the, uh, for the Tail Glow. And he predicts that very nicely, and he goes for the Tail Glow as I go for an Endeavor right here. As you guys will see, uh, Rob just, uh, jumped into the chat. Uh, this is where everything goes down downhill, it's all because of you, Rob. He goes for an Ice Beam as I go for another Endeavor. Uh, he goes for the Ice Beam, very smart play, uh, not being able to put me in range. Now he's gonna go for Scald, I was about to switch into Venusaur, I really was, but anyway. Now I go into Venusaur, and guys, I said this in the team builder, okay? Basically, I made a misplay here. I'm I'm calcing this damage. I see how much I did with Endeavor to a Manaphy from Mamoswine. I know how much HP it's at, exactly the amount of HP it's at because of Endeavor, and I also know that this thing is not invested at all in its defenses. So, a Giga Drain can take him out, right? But being the player that I am, I expect him to expect me to be Scarfed, and I go for the Leaf Storm to get as much damage off as possible, and I miss the Leaf Storm, as he knocks me out with, um, with an Ice Beam. And, of course, uh, he apologizes for that miss. Uh, not much I can do. I go into Thunderous knowing for a fact that this thing is walk-on barrier. You can see it on your screen. I, I knew that from the get-go. He didn't show leftovers. I knew this thing was walk on. I knew it was going to be able to eat up my hit, but I go for it anyway. I get a pretty high roll actually on that uh, on that uh, Thunderbolt. He goes for the Ice Beam, knocks out Thundolos. Now I'm down to just two Pokemon, my Scizor and my Uxie. This game is pretty much over, guys. Uh, I go for a Bullet Punch, uh, knock out his Manaphy. I, I calced it. I knew that it was going to be able to take him out. He goes into his uh, Landorus right here. I know I can't stay in. I go into Uxie as he goes for the Earth Power. I dodge it, of course. Uh, being immune to it because of levitate here. I'm gonna go for the ice punch as he u-turns very nice play on jars part I was expecting a knockoff, but he does show the u-turn. He's going to u-turn into lax here, and now I'm just going to 
set up my rocks because after rocks plus two bullet punch takes out Landorus I guess uh, he goes for a curse so this thing shows to be curse lax uh, I go for a reflect right here so that I can I guess take a fire punch with uh, scissor uh, I go for the u-turn into scissor expecting him to fire punch uh, he goes for another curse and here I'm just going to sword stance on this turn uh, and he's pretty much gonna fire punch me and knock me down to half or so I think I go for the swords dance and he goes for a crunch and here guys here's where uh, the, the defense drop kind of threw me off and it sent me on tilt because I knew that his next crunch was gonna do more and I knew that my reflect was going to wear off eventually I count the bug bite damage and I knew that I could like three hit KO him maybe so because it does like actually yeah it does 32 to 38 so I knew that I could three hit KO him easily so, I stay in, and I start bug biting. However, if your opponent shows a move that's not super effective, you swords dance all the way. You don't stop. You go for it, and you knock them clean out with whatever move you have. Here, I'm going to go for the bug bite. It's going to do 36%. Uh, the next roll is going to do a little bit more. I actually eat his chopple berry, so he was chopple for this thing. Go for another bug bite, and I actually put him in bullet punch range here. He goes for a crunch. And I'm going to bullet punch on the next turn as my reflect wears off. I don't want him to be uh, cussed at, but I didn't notice that the Chopple Berry had flown off. He goes in a Landorus here, and I calc this. I knew that Landorus would die to a plus two bullet punch. That's why I set up rocks. So I'm going to go for the bullet punch, and his Landorus goes clean down. Now he's going to bring in Klefki. And once again, yet another league. I'm going to go for the bullet punch. He's faster with his Thunder Wave. This clef key was a little bit seed invested. I'm gonna get full parrot. I calc the damage from bullet punch. It was taking this thing out, unless it had a lot of defense investment. So I go for the bullet punch, and what do you know? He has a lot of defense investment, and he's able to knock me out with the foul play. And everything from here on out is pretty much GG. Uh, had I not gotten full parrot on that turn, I had a very good chance to win because his Reuniclus had to take U-turns from my uh, from my Uxie. Uh, he makes a smart play going into Reuniclus here on the Ice Punch, which is the only move I can fire off. Uh, if I had Fire Punch on this thing, it would have been a lot better, but, you know. Uh, he goes into Klefki. I just throw off an Ice Punch. This uh, actually a U-turn to try to knock out his Reuniclus. This Klefki has leftovers. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, I'm just going to Ice Punch it and try to get a couple of uh, freezes. Uh, it's not gonna happen. He's gonna foul play me. I'm gonna eat my Cobra Berry. Uh, take that foul play like a champ. Gonna go for another Ice Punch right here as he goes for the Thunder Wave, which is his best play, putting me uh, vulnerable to a Shadow Ball from Reuniclus if it's carrying it, which I don't even get to find out. Uh, as you guys will see, this Klefki is just going to 1v1 me all the way down. So a couple of unlucky turns right there. Uh, Klefki getting the full para on the Thunder Wave and uh, Venusaur missing the Leaf Storm. Uh, in reality, Venusaur missing the Leaf Storm wasn't a huge deal, except for the fact that his Landorus, uh, didn't seem to... Well, I mean, it could have been Scarfed, uh, but anyway, um, Scizor was, was handling that. Uh, but Thunderous would have still been able to put in a little bit of work, uh, at the end of this game. If it was still alive right here, I would have just gone into it and knocked out his Klefki and his Reuniclus. Like, straight up, they both would have been dead. His Reuniclus was, I think, Regenerator, I think it was, um, because it wasn't Magic Guard. Because uh, it came on on rocks and it took damage. So it was, I think it was Assault Vest, so it wouldn't have been able to knock me out with a Psy Shock. Because I have a little bit of HP investment. And I would have been able to take it out with two Thunderbolts. This Klefki would have dro dropped to a Thunderbolt. So I wouldn't have had to lose my Thunderous as a result of missing that Leaf Storm. Uh, in reality, I should have gone for Giga Drain. Uh, didn't think about it. I guess he thought that maybe I was Assault Vest uh, Venusaur and that I could take the Ice Beam. Uh, that's why he stayed in with his Manaphy. But anyway... Um, so that's gonna be the game guys. Unfortunately, we lose this one 2-0 which sends us to a plus 11 differential I believe and a 4-3 and record which is not where I wanted to be on this week uh, I, w I definitely wanted to have a much better record right now, but um, The powerhouses in this league are jar uh, was myself before this uh, uh, Before this match uh, Jose is still up there there. So is Johnny with who we lost to last week I didn't think I was gonna win this game but the fact that I missed Leaf Storm and that I got full parried on the turn that uh, he went for Thunder Wave, preventing me from knocking out his Clef Key, which was the only thing standing in my way of winning because honestly, I think that U-Turn might have done it uh, at the range that the Reuniclus was at. 
So, anyway, that's gonna be it, guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button down below. Uh, <laughs> I was about to use Sniper Wolf's uh, smash that like button in the face uh, line right there. But, uh, yeah, make sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, if you want to see more of these league matches. I promise we will be getting more wins, especially now with Moltres, uh, another defogger, which is really, really nice for the team, especially Thunder, uh, Thunderous. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's it, guys. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Ciao.